Hi, this is Thomas Mashad. Welcome back to Foundations of Web Design. In this video, we're going to look at quotations. There's two different types of quotations that we can have within a website. We could quote somebody at length or we could quote somebody in a paragraph. So let's take a look and see how this works. Down in the description, there is a file for you to download if you haven't already downloaded it in some of the earlier videos. When you uncompress this folder, 02-text, uh, chapter 2-text, two, uh, hyphen text, inside of here you'll find the quotes.html and that you will want to open up into your text editor. So I'm going to open that up into my Komodo edit. Okay, so we have our basic HTML document here. We've already got uh, the global elements supplied. So let's take a look and see how we utilize the block quote. Uh, first off, we have a block quote, block level element. Remember, once we close an element uh, for a block quote, it gives us a new line. And so the block quote is written out like so, block quote quote, all one word, and that's going to contain the quote by the individual as well as who said it, and we'll add some more information in here in just a moment, and we want to go ahead and close that block quote. Now, we could just have the quote by itself and be done with it. Uh, we could end up adding in a paragraph since uh, this is some text that somebody said, so it's a sentence that we have and we surround it by a paragraph, we can do this as well. There are other elements that you could place within the block quote, but we're just wanting to keep this a little, uh, you know, not too, not too crazy with all the markup and stuff like that at this point. So we have the opening block quote element. We have a paragraph of text that Helen Keller had said, uh, optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. So once we have the block quote and if we want to cite where we took this from or where we got this quote from where i got it over was uh, over at brainyquote.com there's a couple of ways that we can cite this quote there is the cite attribute that we can place within the opening tag attributes are placed within the opening tag uh, of an element and we could end up in the comments here. Um, we really don't need this uh, stuff right after the period here. So you can delete that and just copy the HTTP colon all the way out to the 579. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to place that in. And so it's pasting in the, the website address, the URL address into the site attribute. All right. Now, nothing will show up on a website for this. Uh, we could exploit it through the use of, I don't know, possibly CSS and also JavaScript. But, uh, and I think Firefox right now is the only browser that kind of takes advantage of the site attribute. So while that's good, it's actually even better if we can use the, uh, the site element within the, the block quote. Now, this kind of crazy is that even though Helen Keller uh, is attributed to the quote, what we're actually wanting to cite is where we took the quote from. It could be from a book, it could be from a website, and uh, we could say Helen Keller via brainy quote. And I'll put that all as one word. I can't remember if their website is all one word or if it's two separate words. Either way, it'll work. So what's going to happen is, is that we're going to use the anchor tag element. We haven't really talked about the anchor tag, but this allows us to link to a website. So the anchor tag with the href attribute, and we're going to put in an equals, and then we're going to put another equals sign, and then we're going to close that anchor tag, that opening anchor tag, and then we'll put in a closing anchor tag on the other side. And what we want to do is, if we already still have this in our clipboard memory, we can copy this again, if we don't, and place that within the anchor tag. So what we want to do is we are going to place the site element before the anchor tag, and we're going to close that site element. Let's see if I can actually hit the right 
letters on the keyboard, like characters. There we go. So we're actually stating that Helen Keller said, said this, and our citation is from where we got the quote from. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to save this, and we're going to open this up into a browser. This time I'm going to open this up into Firefox. Click on Preview. And so here is the quote, Optimism. Uh, and Helen Keller is the person who said it via Brainy quote. So one of the things that I want you to notice with a block quote, it's very similar to our uh, lists that are unordered or ordered or of the description uh, in the description lists is that once again it is indented here and so as some margin over here onto the left hand side or some padding over on the left hand side uh, well once we get into CSS we'll talk about how we can uh, utilize either margin or padding to creating this space and what the browser uses in order to do the indention because when it indents the block quote and when it indents the uh, list items, it uses one type of property for those and for the block quote it uses another type of property, which is rather interesting. Anyway, you don't have to worry about that right now. What this is just doing is it's, it's indenting that block quote and we have the opening block quote element and the closing block quote and so everything gets pushed uh, away from the left hand side of the browser here. All right, so with uh, some CSS, we could style this to be even more useful to us visually. But uh, anyway, that kind of at least shows us the basic usage of the block quote uh, element. So that is in a block level block quote element. But what we want to also look at is the use of quoting somebody as it's within a paragraph. So when starting a project, it's good to remember what Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So this is a quote that by Benjamin Franklin, all right? So let's go back to the text editor. And in the inline quote, we, this is, we're gonna make this into a paragraph here. So we'll put in our opening paragraph tag. And at the very end, after the period, we're going to put in the closing paragraph. The inline quote element is just simply the Q element and that is going to be right before the word by so that's where the quote starts and the quote ends here at uh, preparing to fail and uh, you know if the quote is at the end of a sentence we're going to place that Q element we're going to close that Q element after the period Okay, so it's part of our paragraph there, and so what we want to do is if we are citing Benjamin Franklin, we're not actually citing Benjamin Franklin, we're, we're citing maybe from where we read it, so it would actually have to, the citation would once again have to come from Brainy Quote. So uh, the specification is, is that normally we don't cite the, the person, we cite the, the place that we took it from, okay? So uh, in this particular instance, we don't necessarily have to place a site um, element because maybe we don't want to place Brainy Quote within our text. And we could just simply have the site attribute within the Q element and placing the URL address of where that, whatever that is over at Brainy Quote. So it's a different place than Helen Keller was. So we could end up putting that URL address in there. Um, if we wanted to cite Brainy Quote, we'd have to place just like what we did here and place the cite element in and maybe somewhere after Brain, uh, ben, Benjamin Franklin. Mainly, I just want to keep this very simple in looking at the inline quote element. What does it do? So let's go ahead and save this. And once again, I'm going to go back over to Firefox and all we're going to do is refresh the browser in uh, the little URL bar up in here. We can hit refresh and you'll notice what the browser does for Firefox. It actually puts in quotes and I can't actually select the quotes. It actually puts it in there dynamically. So it actually puts smart quotes in there uh, and it places it around the quote of what we had just placed it in. Okay, so it's pretty neat what the inline quote can do for us. Uh, we can do even more than that with CSS. 
And some browsers don't actually place in uh, the quotations. Via CSS, we could actually place in quotes if we wanted to. There's a resource that I'm going to provide to you that really kind of goes through it, the quotes, the citations, quite extensively over at the HTML5 doctor. And uh, quoting and citing with a block quote, cue, cite element, and the cite attribute. So this was uh, written back in June uh, 28, uh, 2011, and it has some updates to it, but uh, it's a very, you know, fairly lengthy article, and uh, it's something that it would be really good to read through so you know how to properly use the block quote as well as the Q element and the cite element. All right, that does it for the block quote and quoting sources, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me or visit the website foundationsofwebdesign.com.